Welcome back. They are small in size, but they can cause a lot of damage to plants and trees. Experts say Japanese beetles are really bad this year, and as reporter Sonia Goen shows us, now is the perfect time to do something about them. They can do a lot of damage if you're not on top of it. Japanese beetles are not hard to spot with their copper wings and metallic green bodies. They eat the leaves. That's the biggest noticeable thing. Maple Grove resident Sharon Hampton spotted the invasive pest in her yard. They were very bad. They took, they took the trees, the, the tops of the trees, down the whole boulevard. John Henning with Dundee Nursery says we're seeing more beetles this time of year because we had a relatively mild winter. He says the population gets bigger if we don't have cold weather. They keep laying eggs. One beetle lays X amount of eggs, get more grubs. They turn into their beetle next year. They eat and the population just keeps growing. The bugs like to munch on 300 different varieties of species, including roses and linden trees. They cause trees along Highway 55 to turn brown. This is not gonna kill your tree. It's just gonna make it look bad for the rest of the year. Some folks use beetle traps, but this isn't the smartest way to get rid of them. You're likely to collect more bugs than you bargained for. The beetle traps attract beetles from a long ways away, not just from your neighborhood. Henning says it's kind of too late to use products to kill the beetles themselves, but you can go after grubs, preventing beetles next spring. Most of them are starting to go back in the ground, lay their eggs, which are gonna soon turn into the grubs which will start to feed on the bottoms of your roots of your grass. Immature grubs are more susceptible to pesticides while young, so now is the perfect time to apply products because the grubs are just starting to feed. You can also apply this by liquid sprayed on the lawn or by granule with a fertilizer spreader and water that stuff in, and that kills the grubs at this time. No matter what method you use to get rid of beetles or grubs, you're going to want to enlist the help of your neighbors. Your neighbors have to do that too because the beetles are going to be in his yard too. In Plymouth, Sonia Goins, CCX News. And there is a chemical free option too. You can avoid using chemicals by picking the beetles off the plants with your hands and tossing the bugs into a bucket of soapy water where they will eventually die. So a little bit of work there. Yeah. But you could do the job. <laughs>